Hi, and welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena. I'm a real estate agent with eXp. And in this video, we are going to compare the Far East to Horizon City. Hi, and welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. On this channel, we talk about all things eat, sleep, work, and play El Paso, Texas. If you are considering a move or a relocation to El Paso, please consider reaching out to me. I'd love to talk to you. And in this video, we are gonna talk about two specific areas that a lot of people are drawn to, the Far East and Horizon City. And so, to start with, you can see here on the map that both, the, both of these areas are to the east of El Paso there. You can see the Franklin Mountains in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, the little squiggly black line is Trans Mountain Road, a road that goes through the mountains. And then if you go all the way over to the right side of the screen, you can see in green Interstate 10. And then above that, we've got the Far East and Horizon City. Now, these are two very popular areas and the reason that these areas are so popular is because there are a lot of new homes, so new home construction is big here and this is really where a lot of families want to be because this is where a lot of the kind of suburban life is as far as amenities, grocery stores, retail, all of that. And additionally, this is also where a lot of our new schools are being built. And so for those people that are really concerned about education, and while we have great education throughout El Paso, these areas tend to have some of the newer uh, schools. So first, let's start just kind of with size. So Horizon City is a little bit smaller than the Far East. And what I always say about Horizon City is that this is where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. And so what I decided to do in this video is rather than just blab on about the different areas, I actually went into two different model homes, one in Horizon City, one in the Far East. Uh, the models are essentially between about $235,000 to $250,000. Uh, brand new, relatively close as far as square feet and bedrooms. And so, quite honestly, the, the main thing to consider here is in Horizon City, Horizon City is a little bit closer to Interstate 10. And so it's actually a little bit quicker to go from Horizon City into downtown, west on Interstate 10. Whereas the far east, we have a road called 375 that loops around the city and the Far East is a little bit closer to Fort Bliss, which is where obviously a lot of the military families are, are looking to be close to. So quite honestly, the Far East and Horizon City, I think they are very similar. Newer construction, great schools. It just kind of depends on what, what location you're looking for. Uh, Horizon City, a little bit easier to jump on Interstate 10 and go into downtown. The Far East, a little bit easier to jump on 375 and either go to downtown or to go north and west and make your way over to Fort Bliss. So, both areas, quite honestly, are fantastic. You're going to find new home construction starting at about 150 going up. And as you're going to see in the video, these homes are really beautiful. And quite honestly, it's really kind of more of what you and your family are looking for. So if you have any more specific questions, please consider reaching out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you uh, kind of gauge which area might be better for you. But hopefully these uh, examples or these videos of these model homes will really give you a great idea of what it is you can get for your money in El Paso. Okay, so we are now over on the far east at uh, model home, new construction, and just to kind of compare it with Horizon City, I thought this would be a, a good one. So just like Horizon City, lots of new construction happening and lots of nice new modern homes. And so this is a great example. This is a Bella Homes, their model 1892. So you come in, 
to this kind of grand entry with this nice oversized door. Again, definitely a modern flair here. And this is a four bedroom home, just like the home in Horizon City. Except obviously the layout is different. And one of the things I love about this one is this entryway with these beams that go down the hallway. I think that's pretty sharp. This one's been staged, so it's gonna look a little more uh, put together. And then on this particular model, the master bedroom is off of the front and in the front of the home. And just like the other home, it has uh, detail lighting in the ceiling, the mood lighting, lots of really nice detail, a very spacious room and this one flows in to the master bathroom, which has a lovely double sink and a nice, gorgeous walk-in shower with a bench. This nice see-through space takes you into this side of the bathroom, which has a jetted tub, has a privacy toilet, and then transitions back into carpet into a nice sized walk-in closet. So this one is pretty sharp. And we continue down. This takes you to the garage. We can continue down this entry hallway. We get ourselves to a half bath. Nice granite ca countertops. Next to that, we've got a separate laundry room with some storage built in. And then before we hit these other bedrooms, I'm just gonna go right into uh, the wow of it. So this is on the back of the home. This is an open concept. Uh, the back, essentially it's all glass, which means you're gonna get a lot of light in here, which is pretty epic if you ask me. And then you've got this lovely kitchen. And again, one of the things I love about this is it, the ceiling with the beams that fan out. I think that's a pretty sharp look. Got an electric fireplace, just like the other home. And this one has an actual separate little bar with a sink. It's got this lovely backsplash, this epic range hood, and this really large kitchen island with the sink and dishwasher, nice gas stove, plenty of cabinet uh, countertop space, pretty sharp. <laughs> Uh, we've got a, uh, the coat closet right there, and then we can go off this wing and we're gonna get to another full bath. So this would be for kids or guests. Same type of countertops for the consistency. We've got one bedroom with the carpet. This is new carpet, which is way better than not new carpet. We've got the Closet with plenty of space. I like the accented closet doors instead of just, you know, flat kind of boring doors. So a nice size room there for kids or guests. Linen closet right there. This room they have staged as an office. And again, this is a nice size room with ample storage. And finally, in the back of the home, we have another bedroom, a little bit bigger, with the same type of closet. So another nice thing about this home, nice high ceilings, just makes everything feel a little more spacious uh, so that the, uh, you know, you don't get that cave vibe. So this one's pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the outside just so you can get an idea of kind of a typical El Paso landscape. So this one, they've done a really nice job. We've got this exterior tile. You usually have a covered space 
um, so that if it, you know, on the off chance that it does rain, uh, you're not getting wet, but it's a great place for your grill. And so we're zero scaped here, meaning that we've got rocks that don't need to be watered. Do not water your rocks. We do have a tree that might need a little water. And then what they've done on this one, they have an artificial turf space here with some bush, uh, some shrubs on uh, another tree. So this is pretty nice. Got the standard El Paso rock wall. This rock wall is probably about eh, four and a half to five feet. What a lot of people do, as you can see back there, is if they want a little more privacy, they'll add uh, an extension, um, usually dark wood, or uh, looks like those are actually metal, but I've seen the ones I think that look the best are like a dark wood, and it'll just extend it up to say eight feet or whatever you like, just so that you don't feel like your neighbors are right on top of you. So, that I thought was a pretty nice example of new construction in the Far East. I'm gonna let you know what the price of this one is uh, so that we can kind of compare it uh, to the one in Horizon City and um, we'll, uh, we'll get a good idea, again, kind of what your money buys. And they're gonna be pretty close quite honestly. So it really comes down to, you know, the location. You're gonna be able to get a beautiful home in the Far East, like this home, and you're gonna be able to get an absolutely beautiful home in Horizon City, like the other one that I showed. It's just gonna really come down to uh, what location uh, works best for you and your family. Okay, so here's a nice example of Horizon City in the evening, sunsets, taking a uh, hold there, some pretty awesome colors. So this is a pretty good example though of Horizon City and certain certainly areas in the Far East where you've got these beautiful new homes that have just been constructed and then you've got homes that are in timber, um, permit, you know, some of these are finished, some of these are trim, but um, it is a lovely area and like I said, this, this area is definitely, to me, what I always tell people, this is kind of a bang for your buck. Kind of area. So I'm gonna actually uh, show this home to a client and uh, see, assuming the electricity is on, I'm gonna show you some of the inside. Okay, electricity on. So when you enter this home, this is a brand new home and it's a beautiful home. Nice big oversized door. You see nice white large tiles. This has a lot of um, features including um, kind of mood lighting, I guess you would call it. You can see that around the, the edge there. So when you come into this home, you basically walk into a really large open space, open concept, of course, from the kitchen into the dining room, and that flows then into the living room here. We've got really nice high ceilings, which everybody loves, wood plantation shutters in the home, Again, some nice accents in the ceiling, and this gas fireplace is certainly a pretty awesome feature. This home is listed around 250, maybe a little north of 250 right now. So just so you get an idea of what, of what your money buys you in Horizon City. Beautiful granite countertops, dark wood cabinets, Looks like they gotta clean up a little bit of paint there. But new appliances, of course. Some detail windows there to let a little more light in. I like the nice big narrow door. Built-in microwave, everybody loves a nice hood over their gas stove. Backsplash is pretty, pretty sharp. And then this is a four bedroom home with a two car garage. Uh, off of the garage is the washer and dryer space and two car garage, concrete floor, a little bit of extra storage up top there. Usually they put the hot water heater in the garage, which we've got right there. A little bit of space on the back end or say like a work desk or something like that. And then we have a nice half bath here on the first floor. So this would be what your guests are using or certainly you at times. Like the sink and the faucet. Same countertops as in the kitchen. 
Most homes in El Paso have alarm systems. And then we have a bedroom on the back corner of the home. Again, it has a nice accent lighting up top. This is a really nice size room, brand new carpet for the bedroom. Nobody wants anybody's old grody carpet, spacious closets. and a full bath with a nice skylight. Skylights are great around here, just lets in so much natural light. Big bathtub, same type of sink, faucet, nice shower with some detail here. And that shower is a nice oversized bathtub. So that'd be for the kids or your guests. Another bedroom, and on this bedroom, this one does not have carpet, and this is the master. So there's this really large master closet. Can never have too much closet space. And then the master bathroom, double sinks, this really nice tile on the walls. Down to the jetted tub here. And this huge walk-in uh, shower, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So that is probably plenty of space for most folks when it comes to uh, their master bathroom. You've got a privacy toilet here. And then we still have two more bedrooms. One here. This one is a little on the smaller side, a little smaller than the first one, but again, still has that nice accent lighting, the plantation shutters, the nice doors for the closet. Again, everything is brand new. Those are locked for whatever reason. And finally, this fourth bedroom. And again, very similar to the previous one we just saw. So, brand new home, Horizon City, about $250,000 is, is what this guy goes for. So just to kind of give you an idea of, of, like I said, when I talk about Horizon City and I talk about bang for your buck, this is definitely what we're talking about.